Hey YouTube, what is going on? Alright, this is going to be uh, part one of, I'm going to say, uh, three part series. Um, I'm doing some testing on some different plugs with different heat ranges on the Ford Focus ST under different boost conditions, uh, which is obviously higher boost conditions, um, to find out which plug uh, is best suited for higher boost um, with a tune and some small bolt-ons. So, first off, I'd like to thank Edge Autosport for uh, hooking me up with these spark plugs, the Denzel spark plugs. They were also kind enough to send me some stickers that are going to be added to my garage wall and uh, two t-shirts. Thanks for that, guys. Uh, they were quick to ship. Uh, it was really easy to order online and everything. So, uh, yeah, thanks for that. And uh, I will do business with you in the future. And I would recommend if anybody else sees parts on there they like, uh, don't second guess it. They're real good with their uh, customer support. So, let me get to the guts of this now. Um, I was wondering, you know, and a bunch of people on the forums are wondering, what spark plug should we use? Um, so, the stock heat range would be comparable. Um, here's a stock plug. Let me get the... Hmm. I'm trying to get the part number for you. There we go. Focus. There, oh, I just had it. All right, so anyways, I'll just read it. C Y F S 12 Y 2. It's a Ford plug, so it's a motorcraft. But then on the metal, it says LTR. Uh, 6 DI-8 or D1-8 um, so those are the stock ones I used my handy dandy feeler gauges to come up with uh, some wear numbers so here we go stock plugs are right here they ended up being uh, 32 and a half thousandths gap which for a boosted motor pushing 20 psi, 19, 20 psi, that seems a little bit big, especially for stock coils. Most of the time, uh, for stock coils, uh, like my other turbo cars, I'd run it like 26 gap, and they'd work beautiful. So I'm thinking that might be a little big, but then after checking these Denzos, right 22 and then I have a uh, that was a 24 and I have a 22 and a 24 so I have both sets of four um, they both were exactly 29 and a half thousandths each um, so in order to gap these you'd have to be super super careful um, because you don't want to snap the iridium tips uh, so over thirteen and a half thousand miles, I have a wear of three thousands. Um, so others of you out there might have different, uh, but just that seems like a decent amount of uh, wear for just thirteen and a half thousand miles. So, <clears throat> so the heat range is referring to how much of the electrode is actually being shown um, and how much it'll dissipate heat so as you can see that one's sunk in more I wish I could get better angles of this uh, and this one's sunk in even farther so the higher the heat range I mean, the, sorry, the colder the plug, 
um, the farther the electrode is going to be inside the plug to help dissipate the heat. So uh, you don't want to go too cold because if you go too cold then it won't self clean. It won't get hot enough to self clean the tip and then you'll end up with a bunch of uh, a bunch of junk on and it'll foul out the plug. So that's what all this testing is about. So I'm going to go ahead. Right now I'm swapping in the um, the I the ITV 22 Denzos. This is what's going in for the next 13 and a half thousand miles. And then I'm going to pull these out. I'm going to keep a hold of these stock ones. I'm going to compare these to the stock ones in the next video. And at the same time, I'm going to put these 24s in my car. Then the next 13 and a half thousand miles, I'm going to make my third video. I'm going to compare all of them. I'm going to compare all the wear that each set did. Um, I'm going to compare how much residue is left on each plug um, to see if maybe these 24s foul out too fast because they're too cold and they don't self-clean. Maybe the 22s are perfect. Maybe the 24s are perfect. I have no idea. There hasn't been enough testing for anybody to have an idea. So that's why I'm doing this. So, uh, yeah. If you have any questions, put them in the description below. Uh, please subscribe, share, um, favorite, like. Uh, I like answering people, so if you want to leave any comment, even if it's a dumb comment, I don't consider it dumb, so just go ahead and do it. Uh, so until next time, guys, wrench on.